All right, man, big shout out to all the women out there in the industry, of course, keeping it real. And yes, in the spirit of Woman Crush Wednesday, you know, you saw videos from beautiful women. That was Nisi on the first video. And the second video was um, Wajay. And of course, we have another woman crush in the building. But before I introduce this woman crush to you guys, of course, I will be telling you a little bit about that. This one is just a little because she's so much more a queen am a a fatima all right so <laughs> polio sn is a nigerian actor writer director producer and marketing expert she made her first big screen acting debut in 2010 when dying um when dying with the king and mount zion production was released on tv at that time she was three she was a 300 level student at bowen university studying mass communication an outstanding performance as a young doctor who was to be buried with a dead king led her to a next big role where she played the lead role in the movie broken bridges in 2012 where she gave a stellar performance as a child from an abused home the, um, then she played after this she played after graduating from her alma mater after a brief hiatus from the acting scene but with a burning passion for acting and storytelling bolu has come back with more energy mm -hmm. in 2021 with a short film she produced as a strong lead in the marriage focused movie titled things that broke us and now becoming avi a what play series inspired um, by and loosely based on her life experiences whilst working in an advertising agency in in nigeria the series is created written co-directed and produced by bolu sn under the banner of a production company evolving light studios the series has now been picked up by netflix for a global release on october 28 2022 bolu sn is also an alumnus of the identity school of acting in the, in the uk where she studied acting ladies and gentlemen boys and girls it's only right we gave a warm welcome to our woman Crush of the day, hey. yes. <laughs> welcome, 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 Bolu. You know, reading your profile, you know, and um, in a male dominated industry, mm. you've done so so much for yourself. How does that make you feel? Um, I think it's um, currently I'm in a state of gratitude. Wow. Uh, I say so because you know, like you read that. I've been away for a while, working in the corporate space, helping managing brands, helping to build, you know, mm -hmm. either their online presence or build brands, in, you know, generally in the mm -hmm. media space, which I've been doing and I've even, you know, won awards for, like mm -hmm. I've been recognized as 40 yes. under 40 professional right. uh, in marketing. Some of the campaigns that I've also led with, you know, in collaboration with my teams, I've also won awards even beyond Nigeria, right. you know, EMEA-wise, like Middle East and Africa. Right. So, um, uh, but acting has always been, you know, something mm -hmm. that is also key to me. And I, as I continue to grow in my career, I find that, okay, there could actually be a strategy on how to approach and come back into the industry. Mm -hmm. So what I then strategically do is when I say I'm going on annual leave, that's what I use it for. Mm -hmm. And so everything you see about becoming a bit is streaming on Netflix mm -hmm. currently. And even you know, if you check the hashtag on Twitter, becoming Abby, it's like people are talking about it. So but it also came with a lot of sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Just me, you know, saying, Okay, I'm going on leave as opposed to just resting, I'm using it to shoot a movie back at work. You know, till then we never know what the future holds, but oh, definitely yeah. expect more. Ah, best yeah. <laughs> now, Bolu Essen, yes. the Wonder Woman herself, uh, that was quite a bio. So I just want to quickly ask yes, you, yes. how do you manage to shuffle between being an actor, mm. a marketing expert, mm -hmm. a producer, a director, mm -hmm. a writer? How do you manage to shuffle within all of that? Yes. Being a mother so, as well. Yes, oh, wow. mm. right, right. So again, I don't think you find anyone succeeding without the support of their family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And family can be your direct nuclear family Jesus. or friends right. and mm -hmm. people who support you. I have an extremely supporting husband. Extreme oh, is the word. I, I, I have I, I, an I concur. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I have an extremely supporting family. So mm -hmm. for example, when I was on leave shooting Becoming Abbey, you find that my son was not with me, he was with my mother-in-law mm -hmm. and she was taking care of him and mm. they just bring him to set and I see him mug him just, you know, my, and it was just like, mm. you know, it wasn't even two years old. It was like one going to two at that time. But I, I couldn't have achieved that without 
the mm. family. So I think family is one home front, which is why, I mean, let me just in there, which is it's okay to, to get it right in marriage and relationship because eventually your f ability to fulfill purpose is, is tied to that, mm. you know. So um, that's really how I'm able to do it. I would also say it, it, it does come with pain itself as well, doing multiple things. When I say pain, it's a case of you're working at night, you're mm. you are writing at night, because of course I have to go to corporate work and then I'm back by six and then by that time you have to start writing late, late into 3 p.m. Oh. Do you understand what I'm saying? Right. Um, but not all my projects were, you know, directed by me, but Becoming Abbey was co-directed by me because there was a vision I had I hadn't seen something like that locally, but I'd seen samples internationally. So I needed to co-direct co the reins to wow. ensure that visually and creatively, it's what I wanted it to be. All yeah. right. So, you know, let's talk about Becoming Abby. You know, okay. it's, it's about your, you know, true life experience. Yes. Even thing. Yeah. You know, like there's so many things that you probably didn't depict yeah. in the movie. Mm -hmm. And there's so many things that, you know, maybe there's so many people that haven't seen the movie mm -hmm. as well. The series, and, yeah, it's a I mean, the series, I yeah. mean, like, and, um, they haven't seen the series mm -hmm. and, um, you know, you just want to make them go and watch. Mm. What is that one thing about Becoming Abby that you think is the biggest lesson I can take away from the series? Yeah, I think the biggest lesson from Becoming Abby is that we're all becoming. Mm. If you look at mm. yourself five years ago, where you are now is not where you used mm. to be. And I'm not talking about only money. Mm -hmm. It could even come with confidence in the workplace, mm -hmm. even when you started presenting. This is not how you felt. True. But as you continue yeah, to, true. you know, you might even have times where maybe your boss had told you, oh, that particular episode, you didn't present it very mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. And she wants the best for you. Now, this thing about becoming happy is also about, we're well, looking at it from the POV of the character. Mm -hmm. Your boss telling you you didn't present it that way, that, that episode very well, just not mean she hates you. Mm -hmm. It could just mean you didn't present it very well. well you Do you understand what it means? Becoming. And then yeah. she wants to take first. So it's all about that journey to becoming. And so you find her struggles with, you know, tough boss is and then the question is is the boss really wicked mm -hmm. or is they are trying to be harsh on happy or is it really that they are giving her authentic mm -hmm. feedback mm -hmm. you find friendship you have friendship at the, in the workplace you know you guys are talking about ah, you know, yeah. you know, yeah. all yeah. Those kind of yeah. you have those office colleagues those banters then you have of course relationships so it just touches like everyone who has watched mm -hmm. you if you see the tweets and the feedback has been Awesome, like awesome. it's been people just saying, I can relate to this. Some people are saying, Oh, I'm Abby. Some people are saying, Oh, I have a, b a boss like Bimbo. Some people mm. are like, Ah, oh, my colleague is shy. There's always a shy in the office. Ah, Joyce is the mm. best friend. Everybody needs yeah. a yeah. Joyce. Everybody so it's literally, yeah. yes, yeah. you can literally relate to every character. People are like, Ah, the MD is like, My MD is right. nice. And All right, so, so let's move yeah. away from, you know, becoming Abby yes, and let's yes. talk about, you know, your first movie. Yes. That, um, you know, what's a Mount Zion production. Yes, and, yes. you know, yes. knowing Mount Zion, you yes. know, they're looking out for. <laughs> looking all beautiful. You yeah. know, now stepping away from that mm -hmm. and doing so much more. Mm -hmm. Was there any criticism from mm -hmm. anyone that probably said that, oh, mm -hmm. how can you start with a Christian platform <laughs> and now you're making this? You know, what's the difference between that Bolu SN and this Bolu SN? Okay, let me let me answer it this way. I work in a corporate organization, right? Mm -hmm. Like I told you, I'm a mm -hmm. marketing expert as well. It's not a Christian organization. It's an organization, mm. Mm. right? But if you see me operating in an organization, you, would, you can tell that I'm a Christian. Mm. And so I'm first a Christian before an actor. Mm. Christianity is a life. Do you get what I mean? Mm. So, and Christianity is about what does the Bible say and are you living part what the Bible says. Mm. And so for me, working with Mount Zion is part of my journey. Mm. You know, it's faith-based, you know, evangelical, I'll, I'll, I'll do it over and over again, right? right? However, the productions that we are then creating as well are also, you know, you won't outrightly call them evangelical. Yeah, yeah, but they're just decent entertainment. Maybe that's the right word to use. Mm, you decent. find you are laughing, you are, it's like the comedy, you find the romance, but we'll not push the borders of what, you know, our, our, our faith yeah. is really. Mm. But you, hilarious, funny, mm. comedic. Mm. Um, so I, I wouldn't say I've received any criticism. Actually, what I have received is a lot of people re give mm -hmm. feedback. So I actually enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. This is actually a nice mm -hmm. way to actually mm -hmm. tell stories. This is quite maybe an international approach to storytelling mm -hmm. and all of that, mm -hmm. but it's still very localized and authentic. Yeah. Mm, um, so, but there, there is, it's been love. It's been love for more angles, really. It's been love. But, okay, right, we're running out of time. Okay. So, yeah. so yeah. continuing yeah. the movie and your role and everything, yeah. how yeah. do you manage to physically, mm -hmm. mentally, psychologically mm -hmm. prepare yourself for a role? Yeah, I think one of the things I did, and I'm really grateful to you know God to, to have been inspired to do that, mm -hmm. is I took a um, a course in acting, oh, um, okay. and that's the one he mentioned about the Identity School of Acting. Okay. I took mm -hmm. that, and it was important for me because when I looked abroad, I felt like you see Viola Davis, you're like, 
You see Lashanalin, you see these mm. actors yes. do really well. But the fact is that when you look at their bios, they're trained. Mm -hmm. If very few sets are not trained, a lot are trained. And I'm like, if even as a presenter, you can go to the school of ethics, yeah. right? etiquette right. and all of those things. Right. So I find that even professionals, tech guys, are taking tech courses. Mm -hmm. Marketing professionals are so why as an actor, why am I not going to take that? Take so mm -hmm. I did take it and then started to teach us about techniques. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Understanding who your character is, what is on the script, what's not on the script. Do you, what are their motivations? So all of those trainings, understanding birth control, understanding that you can also emote without, it's not everything that is words, mm -hmm. it's expressions as well. So those trainings mm -hmm. actually definitely prepared me um, for becoming All righty. Yeah. So um, because we're running out of time, we Not won't be taking problem. more questions. Mm -hmm. But of course, you know, um, being a woman crush Wednesday and being Thank a woman, you, you know, we yeah. want you to give a word to all the women out mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. And of course, where can people find Bolu SN when they're looking yeah, for Bolu Yeah, I mean, SN? you can find me on uh, Bolu SN on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram mm -hmm. is the same, Bolu SN. Um, but my word for every woman and even, you know, men out there is, just um, whatever your dreams are, follow them, but understand that it's only process and it's time right. and we're all becoming. Right. Yeah. All righty. Yeah. We yeah. are yeah. all becoming. Yeah. And it's about time. Yes, it is becoming time. To yes. Be <laughs> I love it. So, yeah, I love it. It's 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 the curtain <laughs> today. But thanks for watching as I always. Mean. Join the conversation on social media with the I hashtag see. Tea Time. And remember, you can catch up on our previous episodes, including mm. this very one, and all our exclusive content by doing what? Subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. You can also watch Tea Time on Outer TV and, of course, in London on Ben Television and Star Times Channel 308. A big, 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 big thank you goes out to thank my woman crush, of me. course. Hey. Yes, yeah. And of course, my co uncle is leaving me Sweet too. Yeah. Yeah, I'm you, I love you. Anyways, and of course, I love you more. And of course, the entire production <laughs> thing, thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Titan. My name is Ife Oshukeye. Let go.